Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read, and today I'm going to be doing a book haul as well as a bookshelf tour. So I think you guys probably noticed, but the bookshelves behind me are a new color. And yes, I finally have my Billy bookshelves. I'm super excited about it. Like, very excited. You have no idea how long it took for me to get these bookshelves. It was a combined effort of Marcus and I trying to find them when they were not sold out so I could immediately order them and then go and buy them. Marcus was the one that set all these up for me because um, we had a deal like I we had our other shelves so I gave him the dark shelves and so he could create like a whole like library atmosphere for his little office space that he has and so now I get the white shelves. The deal was he just had to build them for me and I think that's a pretty good deal. I mean I bought all the shelves myself because these are now my shelves but yeah it was awesome and so right now there are currently one two three shelves that you can see there's another half shelf over there i'm gonna give you guys like a full kind of tour of them and like go through each shelf to kind of explain why i did what i did for each shelf i don't even know fully why i did what i did some of it's very chaotic and you'll see that when i show you guys the shelves but yeah so i yeah i have like three and a half shelves here. I'm planning on getting two more shelves, although I already have like almost all my books on these shelves, so I'm I'm not sure how we're gonna space those ones out yet. When I get the other shelves, we're probably gonna put like some books facing outwards so that it like breaks up the space a bit and I can highlight books that I really enjoy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. But anyways, I'm also gonna do a small haul because I've recently acquired some books that I wanted to share with you guys. But before I get to that, I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor, which is the Seasonal Pages. So this is a like artisanal shop online where you can get like custom made bookmarks and stickers, stationery, all sorts of things. They sent me a little package here. So I'm going to open this for you guys. I haven't even seen them yet, but they allowed me to like custom pick some out for myself. So yeah, this is my first time. And this is the packaging they come in. Like how cute is this? It's like a little envelope with like little brown stickers on it. I'm excited. So let's see what I got. Oh my god, these are so cute. Okay, so I ordered some bookmarks. So there's this one. Look at how cute that is. Little books with a flower pot and a pumpkin for fall theme. And then we have this one, which is more books and flowers with like a little couch and a bookshelf behind it and more plants. Oh, I'm so excited. And then this one is like more wintry themed, so it has package with Christmas sweaters on it. And then on the back side, it's got like a little winter cityscape view and it's adorable. These bookmarks are so cute. Okay, so we got some more bookmarks, but I'll do the stickers first. So this one says, you can never have enough books. Very accurate. This one says still trying to recover from a good book and like, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I have felt this so many times. And then this one's just a little sticker of like a little teacup on some books with some books beside it, which is really adorable. And then the other bookmarks I got were this one where it's books and glasses, which is very appropriate for me because I'm a glasses wearer. <laughs> and then on the other side, you have a man reading a book beside a library and his staircase, which is really cool. I love this. And these are all like the art for all of these is hand drawn and then made into these bookmarks. So I think that's really cool. And the person that owns the shop is a very talented creator. We got another Christmas themed one that has little Christmas trees in it with little journals and books. And then on the other side, you got your I love this little pillow with like the Christmas tree on the truck and it's red and green themed. It's so cute with a wreath very atmospheric. And the last one is this one where it's got like a thermos with some hot drinks, some trees, and then on the other side it's a guy reading by the river while at his like cabin in the summer. So that is, well, I don't know if it's summer, maybe it's fall because he's wearing a jacket, but still these are really cool. So yeah, if you want a cool bookmark like this, I will put the link to the shop in the description down below. And I have a personal code, which is breakeven10, which will get you 10% off of your order 
from this cute little bookshop. So definitely go check out the seasonal pages. Um, full disclosure, I will get a small affiliate like portion if you use my code, but yeah, I really hope you guys do enjoy picking out some cute bookmarks. They have a big variety and they also have stationery and other stuff too. So it's not just bookmarks. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Anyways, let's get on to the rest of the video. So I think what I'll do is I'll start with the book haul and talk about the couple books that I've recently acquired and then I will jump into the bookshelf tour. So let's do the book haul first. The first book on this list is Homeworlds by Philip Jin. So this is actually one of my patrons and they sent me their book that they recently wrote. And so this book is following a girl named Abigail who gets this um, treatment for her illness that she has. And when she gets this treatment, it gives her these unusual abilities that lead to her potentially being the key to saving Earth in the future and the past. This book sounds like it has a lot of found family in it, which is going to be awesome. And it sounds like it's a very like epic adventure, which is something that I'm looking forward to reading all about. This is the first book in, I believe it's a trilogy. Yeah, it shows here that it's a trilogy. So I'm looking forward to diving into this and seeing what happens in this sci-fi epic adventure and where Abigail ends up. But anyways, yeah, so this is the first one. There's just a piece of paper in here because that's like a note from the author that he sent to me. So yeah, let's jump into the rest of them. Next up are two books that were sent to me by HarperCollins. So this is Cats and Jammer, and this sounds so good. It says that if you're a fan of American Horror Story, then you will like this book. And I adore American Horror Story. That being said, I still have to continue watching. I think the last I left off was season seven. I think I was like halfway through season seven which is the cult one. And then I didn't continue, but I have it on DVD. So like, I really should just finish it. And they're also on Disney plus. So like I could finish them on there too. So yeah, I really should finish it, but amazing show. And um, anybody that does watch that show, the first season is by far the best season. And then Coven is probably the next best season. You can fight me on that if you want, but like, those are my feelings. I love it. Um, okay. So anyways, this one, it says, Kat lives in her high school. She never leaves, and for a long time, her school has provided her with everything she needs. But now things are changing. The hallways contract and expand along with the school's breathing, and the school's showers in the bathroom run a bloody red. Kat doesn't remember why she is trapped in her school or why half of them, Kat included, are slowly transforming. To save herself from the eventual self-destruction all the students face, Kat must find the way out. And to do that, she'll have to remember what put her there in the first place. So this sounds like a mind bender of a book, but also like super intense with some like horror aspects to it. And so that sounds really exciting to me and I'm really looking forward to getting to this one. And the other book that HarperCollins sent me was Out of the Blue by Jason June. So this is the author that wrote Jay's Gay Agenda, which I also have, but still have not read yet, but I really want to. And then this one, I really want to read this one too. It has a mermaid on the cover. I just read Skin of the Sea, which was about mermaids, and I've realized that I really like mermaid stories, so that is awesome. Anyways, so this one is following a main character named Crest, who is the merman, or merboy, and so each mer person, when they're in their teens, has to go on a month-long adventure where they have to help out a human. And once they come back, then they pass along and can become an elder in like the merfolk society. And so Crest decides that he's going to go help this human who is a teenage lifeguard who recently just broke up with his boyfriend. And so he is going to help this human get back at his ex by being like in a fake relationship with him so that this human could, I don't know. I don't really know what the human's getting out of this actually because they're getting back at their ex. Like, are they trying to get back with their ex? I don't know. But then it's got the fake dating trope where I'm sure they're gonna start to like have feelings for each other and things will go from there. The only thing is that if he doesn't succeed on his month long mission, then he is trapped as a human and is no longer like part of the merfolk. So that's kind of like where things get a little bit iffy because if he wants to stay a merman, he has to, he has to complete his mission. So yeah, I think this book is going to be adorable. I'm really excited to find out like how this fake dating goes between a merman and a lifeguard. Um, I was also a lifeguard when I was a teenager and like into my early 20s. So I love 
that this book is about a lifeguard and a merman. It's just two two worlds like coming together and it's just very exciting. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then we have this one, which I found, I didn't even plan on going to the bookstore. Marcus was just like, hey, let's go to the used bookstore. So we went, I didn't plan on getting anything. And it's kind of funny because like, I'm pretty sure the video right before this, I talked about how I, I don't buy new books because I'm like, I have too many books to read, but lo and behold, I bought two new books. Um, so this one is one that I actually tried to get an arc of when it was like initially coming out, but I never got an arc of it. And so I found a finished copy of it and that is Day Zero by Kelly DeVos, I think is how you say that. I read her other book called Fat Girl on a Plane and I loved that book, it was so good. And so I saw this finished copy hardcover at the used bookstore. I was like, hell yeah, I need to pick that up. And I believe this is like a dystopian book about people surviving after like a cataclysmic event or something like that. So I honestly don't know too much about it, but look what I found in it. And <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at this. I opened this book when I was at the bookstore and saw, hold on, where is it? This. There was a sloth bookmark in there and it says, hang out and read. Is that not adorable? I promptly like shoved it back in the book because I wanted to keep it. <laughs> I know that's horrible, but like it was in there. So now I have a sloth bookmark, but yeah, so I got this one. And then I also got a finished copy of Sisters of the Snake, which was in hardcover as well. I saw these two gems at the store. I was like, I have to buy these. Like there's, I can't leave them. So I believe the authors of this book are actually part of HarperCollins like Frenzy Presents events. And they actually spoke at one of those events. So I got to like see those authors talk about them releasing this book, which was really cool. So now I like actually have it in my hands and that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to reading this one too. I think this one is fantasy. We can read a synopsis together. And look, it also had like a little note from the authors in it. So that's pretty cool. So it says, Princess Ronnie has heard the whispers. Snake princess, they call her. A girl with fangs for teeth. Her people fear her, yet her father doesn't believe her capable of ruling. Rhea is the quickest thief this side of the Var River, and that's why she's still alive. But when she's conscripted into a looming war, she knows she has to be quicker than ever before to elude the royal army's grasp. These two lives collide, turning everything upside down, because Rhea and Rani, orphan and princess, are unmistakably identical. A deal is struck. Both can get what they want if they switch places for less than one moon's time. But danger lurks in both worlds, and the two are thrust into a race to unravel a mysterious prophecy and locate a long-lost mythical object. To save their home, thief and royal must work together, or watch it all fall into ruin. That sounds so good. Like, yeah, that sounds awesome. It also gave me, like, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this, but it gave me, uh what's it called? The princess switch, like <laughs> that Christmas movie on Netflix. It gave me the vibes, but just like minor, just minor. Also check this out. I do this, but like when I look at books in the store, I check like the hard covers and look, it's two snakes. Like how cool is that? So exciting. And then on the inside of the dust jacket, it's got like this whole like art graphic. So that is really cool. So yeah, very exciting finds. Anyways, that's it for the book haul. So now let's go into the little book tour where I'm gonna go through the shelves and show you guys kind of my thinking about how I set it up. Once again, I'm telling you, it's very chaotic, but I'm here for it. I live in chaos. We accept it. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, we'll start up top. So this is kind of like, you're gonna see the shadows of me on the shelves because I got lights blaring over here, but this is kind of like my adult fantasy that I own. So I have these ones here. I have not read any of these. <laughs> and then I got some random superhero books over here that I have acquired over the years and some more like fantasy books. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be chaotic. So then down here, I have this one set sideways to remind myself to like set it up properly because the books are kind of like upside down in the casing or actually no, they're just wrong order. So anyways, I got my box sets here. Uh, we got Divergent, Percy Jackson, and then we have the Gone series, Battle Royale, and then the Knife of Never Letting Go 
oh, I guess it's actually called the Chaos Walking series. So there's that. And then down here we have more like sci-fi, which I have read most of these. So I've read the Other World series. I've read the Maze Runner books, the other James Jashner books, but I have not read the Rule of Three. I haven't gotten to that series yet or any of these books <laughs> going over this way. Also, a lot of these I just put together because as you can see, they line up like perfectly with the height of the books. So there's that. Um, then down below we go here. So this is my little like thriller section. These are minus like the Cassandra Clare books, those aren't thriller, but the ones over to the right from that are all like the thriller books I have currently right now. So I'm looking forward to getting to these ones. And then I have the Cassandra Clare books over here. I have not read these either. <laughs> Most of the books on my shelf I have not read. So yeah, there's that. And then we go down here. And so I started organizing it with like the colored like fancy versions of them and then it just went into all chaos and so this is my marvel shelf that i have here and i have some random ones on the ends that aren't marvel where i couldn't fit anywhere else so that's where they are and i really like having my comic books like on full display because i'm a big comic book person so that's exciting and then down here i have the fifth wave series and then these are a bunch of books that were sent to my blog that i enjoyed so like these are ones that I wanted to keep. So I got like my Joe Treghiari section, my Zach Ryan section, and then other like books by other authors. Not all of them are blogs. Some of them are just random books too. Like Silver Linings Playbook, Before I Fall, Lisa Genova. Those are like extras. And then fun fact, Operation Phoenix, the one on the very end, is a book that I designed for a college project and it was for an author and it actually came out. I'll show you guys one second. So yeah, it's not great, <laughs> but this was a book cover I designed and it actually came out, so that was kind of cool. I also designed this one for a friend's mom called The Purple Orb. And so yeah, those are two book covers that I created and I'm proud of, so I keep them on my shelf. I mean, they're a little hidden away, but I do keep them just to have as like a memory and it, it's exciting. Anyway, let's move on to the next part. Moving up to the top of the next shelf, we got my John Green section. I got my Gail Foreman, my Nicola Yoon, and then Albert Talley, Silvera, and then just other contemporary books. Like I just kind of classify this as my contemporary section, minus this trilogy. I don't think this trilogy by Ali Condi is like full on contemporary. It's kind of like dystopian, but I just felt like the color scheme went well so I left it in there <laughs> like I said chaos the next shelf there is no order to this shelf this is literally just books that I was like oh you know what all of these line up perfectly across the top look at this look how sexy that is they all line up perfectly so I was just like I had to keep them all together and yeah I've read some of these clown in a cornfield that book is awesome I loved it um Cemetery Boys, I've read that one, Alatso, and then Cryer's War and Ironheart and All of Us Villains, read those books, loved them. A lot of the books that are on my shelves are ones that I really enjoyed, so obviously they're still here. If I don't enjoy a book too much, like if it's like three stars or less, usually I get rid of it unless there's like a special meaning behind it and I want to keep it, but anyways. Moving down, we got Red Rising, that whole series, which I'm is gonna be kind of like highlighted in my videos like where my head is, so I wanted it to be shown. And then the Ready Player One books, some sci-fi by Andy Weir. Um, I have not read, oh, this is Fid's Crusade series over here in the corner. I haven't read the Sanctuary Containment or uh, these three colorful books here, the Sleeping Giants series. Haven't read those yet, but I'm really looking forward to them. So yeah, that's exciting. And then down here we have more kind of random book placements like this is kind of a shelf that I just didn't know where to put all these books so they're just here and I didn't really organize like I said chaos and then one more shelf down is my DC collection so I got a lot of Batman comics because I'm on a mission or 
I guess I successfully completed the mission. It's a really weird mission, but it was to get all the best Batman comics of the year 2013. I don't know why my mind decided to do this, but it did. And I did. I collected them all. So like that whole Batman section is like the best Batman, supposedly, of 2013. <laughs> and then if we keep going over, I got other randoms on the end. So I got Fight Club 2, my Pierce Brown graphic novels, and then the Sega series, check please. Pumpkin Heads, and then two ones called the Montague Twins, which I still have to read yet, but I'm really looking forward to them because they're, I think they're kind of like Hardy Boys graphic novels. And then the bottom shelf is all my design books that I've collected over the years, like for school. Um, I mean, I went from like, I trained to be a graphic designer. I still do graphic design, but I also like am a full-time web developer now. So I kind of just went into the coding aspect of it. But yeah, I still have all my like different books I collected over the years. And then I have this collection of Murakami, which was given to me. So I just put that down here. I have not read Murakami before, but I have a bunch of books by him. And then my travel section. So these are all the books that I have of places I would like to travel. And some of them I've been to, like I've already been to Iceland. I have never been to New York City or Australia or Amsterdam, but I really want to go there. So yeah, I'm preparing. As you can see, the Australia one is very worn out from me reading it a lot, so that's a life goal. And then onto the third shelf. I, of course, have my Heartstopper graphic novels. The show is out now, and it's so good. Oh my god, you guys have to watch it. But anyways, so I have my Alice Oseman section over here, and then I have a bunch of Harlequin suspense novels here stacked on their side. And then over here, these are my Karina Press books that I have. So a lot of these are like LGBTQ plus books. And so I wanted to like kind of highlight them in their own section. So that's where they are. Then moving down, we have the whole Lunar Chronicles series and then other books that kind of just fit. And then I loved the color scheme of how these ones just like kind of blended together. So yeah, I was really happy to have them like that. <laughs> that's all it was really. I just went with color scheme there. Then moving down, we have more books that are just randomly placed. So we got the Sebastian de Castell series here and then Blake Crouch. And then these books are just honestly randomly placed here. And then this is my little section of Angry Robots books that they have sent me. Um, this is a publisher that I've recently discovered and I adore like all the stuff they're putting out. And I love all their covers and like all the great sounding books they have. So I've started my own little section of their books on my bookshelf. And this is what I have so far. And then moving down, this shelf is the remainder of books I have to read for my blog. So these are books that were sent to me by the authors to read and review. There's a whole shelf worth of them and it's a little intimidating, but believe me, I have gone through two other ones already. I started this out with three full shelves of books sent to me by authors. So the fact that I only have one shelf left shows that I've been putting in the work, okay? I've been reading these books. <laughs> and then if I move down one more shelf, these are all books sent to me by HarperCollins and Penguin Random House. So these are my arcs. As you can see, I have my bookmarks in here. So that means that the ones to the left are books I have completed and enjoyed. That's why I've kept them. And then books to the right are ones I still need to read. Minus The Darkness Outside Us, that one I have read. Also going down here, there's also more books from uh, HarperCollins and Penguin Random House. So those are also remainder of books I still have to read. And then this is my little pile of leftover graphic novels I have not read yet. So these ones are just random. We got some monstrous ones in there. We have Die, which is one that Marcus gave me. And then we have some Aquaman, Batwoman, Justice League. And then I think the other three were sent to me by Campfire Graphic Novels. And then over here we have a vampire box set by Charlene Harris. Um, oh yeah, it's the Suki Stackhouse novels. So I've had this for a while. I have not opened it yet, clearly. You can see the shimmering of the plastic wrap still on it. But yeah, I want to eventually get to this when I feel like going back into another vampire phase. And then over here, this is the half shelf. So I just have some random books down here. My Assassin's Creed box set that I never opened. <laughs> I bought that like when in high school. So yeah. And then I do have some remainder blog books here as well. So yeah. 
there's a couple more on this section as well of books sent to me by my blog mixed with other books that I've gotten just from like people or for myself. And then this shelf has like a little bit of fantasy and then I started like a tiny horror section. So like the four books on the left are kind of like horror books. I don't have too many horror books, but I want to get more. So I'm probably going to like read the books on this shelf and like take out the ones that aren't horror and kind of keep this as like a, a horror section kind of thing. And then if we go up here, I have some more books. So the ones with the, like the dark blue cover over to the left are all books I got in subscription book boxes. So those are ones that I will eventually get to, but I wanted to keep them kind of like organized. And then these ones are just <laughs> random books. Going up one more, another shelf of just random books that I like placed together. Um, really no thought went into this one. This is just an extra like space filler. So that's that. And then the last shelf is my remainder of Harlequin novels that I have here. All different genres. The light blue are love inspired. The dark blue is special edition. The purple is suspense. Um, and then the red is like romantic suspense. And the green is heartwarming. And then the other ones, these are just other random books that I had. So here they are. Anyways, that's it for my video, guys. So let me know what you thought of the new bookshelves. I'm super excited about them. Really happy to have these new shelves and like have all this space for my books. It's so exciting. And I think that the white definitely like brightens up the room and makes it very like light atmosphere. I just love it. I love it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, also, let me know what you think about any of the books that I hauled and let me know what you think of Seasonal Pages, their little shop. Definitely go check it out. Like I said earlier, I will be putting the link in the description down below as well as the code BREAKEVEN10 so you can use it to get 10% off your order if you decide to get anything from their bookshop. Anyways, if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page which I'll put in the description down below as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.